Recently, I posted a video blog about Polygon and specifically ZK Rollup technology that Polygon is working on. You know, when Ethereum 2.0 Phase 1 introduces sharding, there's going to be a battle for Ethereum scaling, and ZK Rollup is probably going to play a very dominant role in uh, Ethereum scaling. Uh, sharding will, will be dependent upon L2s, uh, for, for their Ethereum scaling. And Polygon and Loopring are two major contenders. But I was challenged recently by a viewer and he said, you know, Polygon isn't all that great. It has weaknesses. And he is correct. Uh, Polygon does have some weaknesses, especially when you compare it to Loopring. And so that's what this is about. Loopring versus Polygon, the ZK roll-up battle. First of all, Polygon uses a side chain or is a side chain and it uses a trusted bridge. Whereas Loopring, it's an L2, but it's not a side chain and it's not dependent upon a trusted bridge. And that's a huge difference between the two. Um, now, the, dif the difference is, is that when it comes down to some kind of failure, if, if the, the relayer and loopering fails, then what, what will happen? Well, the ZK rollups will stop working, but you can still get access to your funds on the Ethereum blockchain in the loopering contracts. So the ZK rollup tech will, will not work if, if, there, if there's a relayer network failure, but you can still withdraw your funds out of the contracts, out of the smart contracts uh, on the Ethereum blockchain. On the other hand, uh, if there's some kind of failure in the Polygon network, you know, there's only a, a hundred validators right now at any given one time, at any given time in the Polygon network and on the bridge. Therefore, if there's some kind of failure, like a 51% attack maybe um, on the Polygon network, uh, you're just kind of stuck. Uh, you can't get your funds back out of the Polygon network over the bridge. You have to use the bridge, Polygon Ethereum bridge, to get it back to Ethereum. And if there's some kind of problem, well, you're just kind of stuck um, because you have to use the bridge. The bridge also has a limited number of validators on that. And it kind of defeats the purpose of the Ethereum security. You know, Ethereum is going to have thousands and tens of thousands of validators and if polygon has only a very, very small number it kind of defeats the purpose it's not as distributed it's not as much security on the polygon network and so for this reason polygon might be uh, the lesser zk roll-up tech to loopering loop loopering could possibly be the superior zk roll-up tech now when it comes to preparing for the future when it comes to Ethereum scaling. Um, Loopring could be uh, the better bet technically, but we have to look at the dominance and uh, Polygon has raised a billion dollars, is committing a billion dollars to ZK Rollup Tech uh, in their ecosystem. Uh, Loopring, on the other hand, has only raised about $150 million. Loopring has about 15 developers in comparison to the over 50 developers working on, on ZK rollups on the Polygon network. Um, now, but when it comes to Loopring, it is perhaps the superior technology um, because Loopring uses the security of Ethereum. So, you know, you're not cutting any corners. Uh, as I said before, if Polygon network only has a thousand validators and, and yet uh, Ethereum has 30,000, well then, you know, Polygon is significantly less secure than Ethereum. Uh, Loopring, on the other hand, uses the Ethereum uh, security uh, because it's not a side chain. It, it, it has relayers that do the ZK rollups, but Loopring is an L2 in the, in the sense that it has Z, uh, relayers doing the ZK rollups, but it's not a side chain, and therefore there's no bridge dependency. At the current time, Polygon and Loopring are not rivals, whereas Polygon is a general purpose L2 
Uh, Loopring is focused on automated market makers at the present time. Now they both do scaling, they're both scaling solutions. Uh, they bring, they make Ethereum fees much less. They, they bring uh, a higher throughput, a higher uh, transaction speed. Uh, so for example, Polygon is right now averaging about 7,000 transactions per second. Loopring is averaging around 2,000 transactions per second. Now there is another difference though, is that Polygon is open source fully and the uh, Loopring network, on the other hand, the relayer is proprietary. Now, there are a couple of other contenders in the ZK Rollup tech uh, space, but I focus primarily on Polygon and Loopring because of the tokens. Uh, the others tend to use Ethereum to pay gas fees, whereas Polygon uses Matic to pay gas fees, and Loopring uses the LRC token to pay gas fees. Now who's going to win in 2023 when Ethereum introduces sharding in phase one? Uh, there's going to be a battle of who's going to win the, the uh, you know, the scaling of Ethereum. Uh, you know, is it going to be Polygon or is it going to be Loopring or maybe uh, one of the other solutions? I think ZK Rollup Tech is, will be the dominant tech. I think that it is much superior to optimistic rollups. Um, and so I, th I, if I had my money, I would bet uh, on ZK Rollup Tech to be the dominant Ethereum scaling solution. But which one? I, I don't know uh, which one is going to win. I think both have a lot of merit. Uh, Polygon with Matic token and Loopring with the LRC token. And basically, I'm hedging my bets. I don't know which one's going to be the dominant one, which one will win. And therefore, I'm holding both Matic and uh, LRC. To grow your crypto stack, follow this crypto coach. Thanks for watching.